New video shows the border is anything but under control. Fox News cameras capturing exclusive footage again of dozens of migrants crossing the Rio Grande River in broad daylight. And a Texas farmer and his family found five young migrants, including a baby, abandoned in the blistering heat. Here's the moment they were found. No mother, no, no mother, no father, no, no. no nothing. No nothing. This is one of our uh, workers' wives right here Look taking care of this here. tiny one. No one with these children. So, Juan, you got 20 governors urging Biden to, do, to act on this crisis. There's a Harvard poll that says that they, uh, uh, the respondents overwhelmingly want action now, even to embrace uh, Trump's former border goals because they seem to be working. Can you actually say to these people, hey, this has happened before. Mm -hmm. This has been around forever. Do you think they're going to buy that shtick? I don't think it's a shtick, and I don't think anybody has to buy it. I just think they have to look for themselves. I mean, you can show these videos. You did one yesterday, did one today. You know, it's one video out of context about, you know, as I said yesterday, people have been crossing the Rio Grande for centuries mm -hmm. uh, in terms of illegal immigration. But the broader point about whether the border is open or the border is closed, I think that, you know, again, I just ask people to look at the facts, because the facts are that the coyotes may have told people, oh, with President Biden, they're going to let you in. But the fact is, over the last month, we've seen an 88, nearly 90 percent drop in the number of unaccompanied minors crossing that border. And we've seen on also a similar Boss. high level of drop in terms of the number of arrests of illegal immigrants of any age crossing the border, indicating Boss. that there are fewer people trying to cross. So, to my mind, we have to just stop all the alarmist type of, you know, attitude and, like, making this video into something that's never mm -hmm. happened before and mm -hmm. say, we need, we need action. And I think that's what you're hearing from the governors. We need action to deal with our broken immigration system. And the, really, the president, for, you know, all you talk about, oh, build a wall of this, that wouldn't have stopped people crossing the Rio uh, Grande. Did. What we need is Congress, what we need is Congress to organize a legal immigration system, a better border security system, make a deal, Republicans and Democrats. Let's come together and stop the selfies and the, you know, you keep saying stop the this, selfies. Like, oh, yeah, we've discovered but it was the Democrats. It's the Democrats who pioneered the selfies. You remember AOC? You keep saying stop the oh. selfies. You need new talking points. <laughs> Number one, I'm glad that you agree that videos out of context are wrong. Finally. And number two, the number of migrant children have You're actually me doubled. One. You've actually we've you've the number of migrant children have doubled in the last two months. Uh, Jesse, are there any other facts you would number like to add? Number of children has decreased. No, Greg. it's doubled. It's gone down, Greg. Uh, Oh, jeez. oh my God! Great. False one. Oh, God. Let me let me address some oh, of the talking our points because I don't want the audience <laughs> to be misinformed here. The situation on the border is not improving. Border crossings are not down. <laughs> We've had two straight months oh, of over 170,000 border crossers. That is our two straight months of 20-year highs. In fact, month over month, adults are found crossing more than they were before. Also, Juan says this is normal. It is not normal for a parade of 50 people from Venezuela pouring across the Rio Grande River in broad daylight and then just turning themselves over to, over to our border patrol agents to game the asylum system. The second thing they like to say is, oh, well, they're really speeding up the process of getting these kids out of custody. Th that was debunked today by the Associated Press, who says the Biden administration has more than doubled the amount of children in custody over the last two months. They are now keeping 21,000 unaccompanied minors in federal custody in a secret network of 20 diff 200 different facilities across a span of over two dozen states. There's one fort in Texas that has over 4,000 unaccompanied minors packed tight into it. And the last thing you always hear about Republicans taking selfies and Congress needs to act. Republicans were taking pictures of kids in cages because Biden wouldn't let the press into the facility. Mm -hmm. And the last time I checked, Republicans yeah. don't control either chamber. Nancy and Chuck have not moved on any immigration policy change, and that is on them.
Mm -hmm. And uh, just to point out from our from our research packet, and I trust our producers on this, I would never doubt the data that they give us. This is confidential data, Dana, obtained by the AP, which shows the <laughs> number, I mean, you can laugh, I guess, He's laughing about the migrant children, in government custody more than doubled in the past two months. Uh, so that's just, that's, I mean, you can laugh at this, I guess it's funny to you. But anyway, it's, I, I think Dana, it's I pretty- I said over the last month, if you don't distort the numbers, I won't have no, to- No, I'm, I'm reading you know, it, I'm actually reading it, went up. Rich, All right, you had your chance, I mean, you just, had your chance, just, you, know. you had your chance. All right, Dana. Yeah, you had it your amazing. chance and you, you, read it, you distort the I know, numbers. I'm reading it from, oh God, help us. No. Um, You're, yeah, Dana, I said it's down 80 plus percent it, over the last month. It's Good up God. two months. If you can't read the stats- You're confused, Juan. Yeah. Um, yeah, you're confused. Yeah, I think, oh yeah, right. Dana, oh, yeah. I'm trying to get to you. I'm having a hard time. Okay. Uh, you could argue that those that farmer saved those kids' lives. And if, he, if that farmer wasn't there, we would have a very, we'd be having a very different discussion right now. Well, right, and what about that farmer's, like, what if, the, what if it had gotten to the point where the little baby who was so dehydrated, they said she was barely moving, what if she was, what if she hadn't survived? Yeah. And then the, Farmer and his wife happen upon this tragedy, and then they have that on their conscience. That's yeah. not fair to them at all. And it's, it's terrible for these girls. This, this is the inhumanity of all of this. And I have another question. We, when, when you show that video, that is actually news footage. And look, other networks, right? They're free to go and do coverage too. Yeah. They were just our cameras were just there. They mm -hmm. just happened to be there. Like, okay, we're we're just showing you what we're seeing here. And you can you can decide with your own eyes like yeah. what, what what you're saying. But there's a video. There's a the guy in there. Jesse pointed him out yesterday. He's the coyote with the um, uh, mask around his face. Yeah. And we saw him yesterday, and we saw him today. Yeah. And he's yep. bringing the Venezuelans yesterday. across, and he gets paid mm -hmm. once they get across. He doesn't care what happens to them after that. I want to know this. Why is not that? Why isn't that guy getting arrested? Right. Why aren't we taking yep. him out? Good question. I, th I don't understand that. No, we we got eyes on him. He's right there. Yeah, he's on he's on Fox more yeah, often than the my pillow guy. <laughs> Katie, um, <laughs> it, uh, to 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 Dana's point, it's amazing how tragedy is covered when the media's chosen leader is in power. It suddenly become journalism suddenly becomes like an act of smothering. They put out the story, or they just don't even look at it. Mm. Well, yeah, and to Dana's point, I have a friend who has a ranch down on the border in Texas and spends a lot of time working on other ranches. And yesterday he texted me and he said, ranchers are starting to find bodies more often, but they won't ever show that. They said it's getting hot and they aren't prepared to deal with the situation. Mm. So it is not normal for people to be dying on private property and ranches in Texas. It's not normal to drop off little babies that can't even walk yet uh, on ranches and abandon them. That is not normal. And it's certainly not humane, as the Biden administration has repeatedly argued. They've said over and over again, our policies are more humane than the Trump administration's policies. Well, guess what? This is the opposite of humane. Open borders are inhumane borders. We know this. And to say that it's being blown out of proportion or that it just happens all of the time is opposite of what this administration told us they were going to do. And it's not right. It's wrong. Yeah, and, and we have to remind ourselves that the wall is a literal representation of a disincentive. And you remove that wall, that is a message. <laughs> hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.